Oh, hello, Pinkula. Come on in. Welcome to my humble abode. This is Tanuj Virwani, and I'm happy to show you guys around today. Let me show you guys around. So this is my living room. This is where I spend most of my time. I have my meetings over here. Yeah, we have scripts. Write, scripts. Write, scripts. Accept. Write, reject. Be. Write. Chill. Be. Marty. A day. Me. Rat. Ki time. Be. Thoda. Party. Party. Be. Write. If you pan the camera that side, that's where we have our projector. In fact, I had that installed pretty recently. It's an ultra short projector. So here we watch cricket matches. Now the World Cup is coming. The Asia Cup is starting. We're busy with that. I'm a cinephile. I love watching movies. So we do a lot. I have a lot of dogs. I have a lot of dogs. In fact, we have seven dogs at home. So sometimes uh, we like having doggy artifacts. So if you pan the camera here, you can see this funky artwork. And over there as well, uh, we like greenery in the house. That's why even though we are uh, South Bombay ke center mein hai, and there's a concrete jungle outside, but we make sure there's a little bit of greenery around. It's good for the eyes, good for the mind, good for the soul. If you come this this side, uh, this is our bar. This is uh, very inactive during the day, thankfully. But at uh, time pe hum yahan pe bahut enjoy karte hai. Uh, this became my favorite spot actually uh, during COVID because during the pandemic we couldn't step out. So many times when lockdowns lift ho gaye, to we would call friends home, family home, chill over here, not get too crazy also because you want to be health conscious. But we spend some time here. I'll show you something really cool. One of my dear friends gifted me recently. It's this. It's ah, actually really heavy. This is why I didn't need to go to the gym. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. So this was actually gifted to me by one of my dear friends, uh, Divya Agarwal. We've done a bunch of work together and uh, she had bought this for herself, for her own home, but she ended up gifting it to me. So I love it. It's a funky, funky installation, drinking installation. Okay, and with that, I'm done with my workout for the day. Now, let me show you guys the money shot of the house, which is the exterior. Follow me. Okay, so this is by far one of my most favorite parts of my home uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, as you can pan the camera this side and you can see the wonderful sea. Uh, you know, one time I said to people that I live by the sea. But now, with the Mumbai Coastal Road coming and all, I can only tell people that I live somewhere close to the sea because as you can see, the entire sea line, the shore has gone very far away for me. But jokes apart, it is a place that gives me a lot of peace, solitude and sukoon. So I love coming over here, you know, sometimes after a long day at work, sometimes if I'm just chilling at home, sometimes with company, most times by myself. So this is my happy place. And now guys, we come to the fun stuff, okay? This over here, everything you see over here is the inside of my brain. Let me introduce you to some of these pieces. As you all may all notice, these are some Marvel characters. These are some of the DC characters. I'm a diehard fan of Iron Man, Batman, Hulk, Spider-Man, Wolverine. You can see everything over here. Along with that, I also love my monsters. I love aliens, predators, you name it. All the horrific stuff, the Joker, the Riddler, the Penguin, all these guys, okay? The good news is, this is only room number one. Let's go to the next one. And now let's move towards more awesomeness as we keep going closer and closer to the mothership or as I call the absolute epicenter of the inside of my brain. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is what I have actually been working on for the last uh, almost 19 years. I've been collecting since I was 16 years old and as you can see, you've got, come on, come on, you got to check this out. This is the first film I ever saw in a movie theatre. Jurassic Park, one of my favourite scenes and I'm so happy and proud to be able to have a piece of movie history in my very home. Uh, I love dinosaurs, as you can see over here. I love the Marvel guys, I love the DC guys and I've got a mix of some of the characters that appear in the movies as well as their comic book counterparts. Okay, now let's move this side. You've got some more Marvel characters over here and these are very very special in particular because many of them are not made by any company but they're made by artists by individuals especially commissioned so if i send them a certain art print or a certain pose they will go render a 3d scan of it and then eventually make it so they're a little pricey but uh, they're worth their weight in gold so i really like it and we have this special cutie over here all the girls who come over here love uh, him and they all uh, threaten to steal him but so far i've managed to keep him very safe he's the minion in case you all didn't know <laughs> Now moving on, uh, let me give you all a bit of a jhalak, a bit of a glimpse at my shoe collection. So these are all my Jordan 1s. Actually, these are not all, these are some of my Jordan 1s. What I believe is the most awesome, most famous, most wearable 
sneaker of all time. Now, as you may notice, I have them in many different colors, even though they're all uh, typically the same shoe. You've got them in lows, mids, and highs. Um, but more on this later because there's a lot more of this coming up. Now, let me take you to my little office. So believe it or not, this over here is actually what I consider to be my office space. Uh, this is a place which involves a lot of privacy. I don't have any other buildings at the same height. There are a lot of plants all around me, so I can sit Besharmi se aram se in my tub. I read my scripts over here. I do my calls over here. No video calls, only audio calls. <laughs> don't worry about that. And I have actually signed many of my shows sitting in this very tub. Be it Inside Edge, Cartel. Codem, Poison, Bajao, many of these decisions, many of these awesome life choices, career choices have been made in this very tub. So it's a very, very lucky tub for me. Yeah, now let's go upstairs. So this is where I practice all my cricket. Many of you guys would have seen my uh, web series Inside Edge and this is where I really worked on my skills, you know, because we had a lot of training and stuff. It was mandatory for us to take part in the cricket boot camp. But I wanted to go that extra mile. So we just built a little pitch over here. This was just a normal terrace. I put this net up. I put some gym flooring over here. And I just get my boys at home to just throw the ball at me really hard. Usually bat here. Because it's not chota hai, so there's very less reaction time. So we bat over here. And then someone bowls. They're not bowling right now, so I can't play a shot. But we'll do that in the next shot. Aja Chunchun! So that's how we practice a little bit of cricket, you know. It doesn't matter whether I have five people or ten people or even just one person to play with. It's important to keep your skill set going because we show everything really on the show. There's no green screen, there's no body doubles, it's all me. So as I promised you guys, the sneakers I showed you all upstairs was just the tip of the iceberg. These are some more of my Jordan ones. By now, I think you all have gathered that I'm quite obsessed with Jordan ones in particular. But that's because they're really wearable and I mean, look at these. I mean, I've been wearing these for the last four, four and a half years, but they still look amazing and you can still rock them with formals, semi-formals, casuals, anything at all. Follow me, there's more. Guys, follow me. This is where I keep the holiest of holy grails. My best, most treasured, treasured sneakers are all over here. I can literally spend hours over here. Like this is something that is extremely close to my heart. You know, and, and, and a lot of people, including my own mom, who me, they are you have two pairs. Why are you collecting so many shoes? What are you going to do with these? But for me, a shoe is just a shoe till someone steps into it. Right? I saw that in the movie eh? and that line resonated with me so much. So you've got all sorts of sneakers in here. I mean, look at this. This looks literally like it's out of the future. <laughs> if you look at this one, I'm a gamer. So this is inspired by PlayStation. It's a collab that Nike did with PlayStation. This, uh, no prices for guessing, this is Doraemon. So you understand every shoe is something special in his own right. And I just feel that this gives me so much of happiness and joy. And maybe because I'm a single child, so we're used to being in our own company. But these sneakers, everyone, everyone, look at this one. It looks like a truck. <laughs> it looks like a truck. You don't want to wear this around like thoda vertically stunted people because they tend to get very offended by those shoes. But that was it, guys. I hope uh, you all found this pretty cool and uh, insightful and impressive. And as much fun as I have had collecting all of this, whether it's the statues, whether it's the shoes, whether it's the view over the years, I hope you had fun watching it. Thank you so much.